Hey, what's up everybody? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs. Today I am showing you my newest custom. This is an original design. One of my regular customers, uh, he just, he kind of had an idea of what he wanted and kind of let me just run with it and make, make uh, kind of whatever I ended up making out of it. So we started off basically with a Black Panther body with Wonder Man hands and an Iron Fist head. And he said he wanted it black and gray, kind of like X-Force but not exactly and just kind of like an uh, assassin ninja sorted bladed weapon guy with some good guns too so I kinda just ran with it and uh, did what I wanted to do um, again we have the uh, iron fist head I put a new bandana on it the uh, strap parts anyway get that out of the way because I didn't like the one that he came with so I put a new couple straps up there just to make it look a little bit more realistic, the one on him kind of looks like a french fry on Iron Fist's original head, so I didn't like that. I put a bunch of belts across his chest, kind of like a chest harness for his swords. And uh, that was just a bunch of different fodder that I cobbled together to make the buckles and every and all the straps and shoulder pad and what's the back of it back there. Kind of got a triangle going on and then there's a magnet in his back so that the sword holsters can attach and unattach if you want them or not sculpted to look like there's like a wrap holding them together sword uh, the sheaths the scabbards are painted in a gloss black to look like the uh, scabbards of regular katanas in real life uh, the belt is a mr. sinister cape strap very straightforward put some pouches on there pouches on the chest piece there um, all the pouches and black accent pieces on the buckles or on the uh, straps are gloss black. His gloves and his boots are gloss black. Every other part of black is flat. And then there's dry brushing for the gray parts just to accent them. Uh, this is from the uh, shield agent. I just kind of put that right on there. It fit on the arm nicely and I painted it up to match. I made these wraps out of neoprene sheeting for his wrists. Same thing I did for Dakin. And uh, I don't think I did that for anybody else. Just for Dakin. Oh, no, I did it for Scorpion. Is either Scorpion or a Reptile? I'm not sure. Anyway, that's neoprene sheeting. Just a regular generic buckle I found in my fodder bin. I made some buckles to put on there. And on his back, the back of his belt by his pistol holster. Pistol, of course, comes out. Just a black 9mm with a charcoal grip just like the uh, regular accents there I used for this is Mr. Sinister cape straps on his thighs these are Ninja Turtle like old-school Ninja Turtle weapon holders and they hold his swords or I mean his knives that go on his thighs he's got dual knives uh, I use neoprene sheeting to make these belts down here these straps that go on the top of his boots some more buckles there and then I just filled in the uh, Black Panther boots all the accents I made gray and then I made these two lines up there and down here silver to look like zippers or something like that and then of course like I said the boots are painted gloss the toes have been sanded down so that they don't look like Black Panther boots um, oh I sculpted over the fingertips on Wonder Man so that they just look like gloves instead of having fingernails and we really like those hands because they are great for fists and even for open hands and holding accessories and swords and stuff but they don't have a trigger finger so what I did was I just cut the trigger guard on the guns so that it looked like his finger was going where the trigger would be, even though it's just kind of like an illusion, I guess you could say. But that way he can hold everything really nicely. Painted the gun up so that the flashlight's white, and then you can see the black dot for the barrel. Just a nice little tactical pistol. This weapon right here, little brass knuckle claw thing, is actually an old school Ninja Turtle weapon as well or from the old school Ninja Turtles they just painted it up to look kinda more in line with the rest of the figure like I said he's got these the scab the crossed scabbard with the swords these are from a some Sin City figure I'm not familiar with them but they're actually chrome swords so that's really nice I like that even though they're not the best quality they're chrome so they look really cool I prefer the uh, Marvel Legends katanas just because they're better sculpt and made a little nicer but since these come with the scabbards that they fit in and they're chrome, it's a nice detail. I like that a lot.
it took a little sanding and sculpting to get them to fit together nicely but I think it's worth it because it looks pretty cool um, other weapons he has he has two of these I'll just set him down two mp5s with the forward grip the pistol grip on the front with the little red scope things on there not really scopes just the sights maybe like two times magnification and then he's got a bow fight functioning it'll actually shoot if you want it to I mean it's not gonna shoot real well or anything like that but it technically will shoot let's see if I can do it it shoots actually pretty well because this is elastic and this is um, flexible plastic so you can really get some nice uh, torque on there and he can hold it uh, the hands are strong enough to pull the uh, string back and hold it in place for the most part I mean it's not like he's gonna actually be firing it but if you can get it get him to hold it just right and pull it back just right and everything you can actually get some really nice poses out of it so I was pretty pleased with how that turned out see if I can do it real quick just to show you how it would work yeah sometimes the arm just rotates but you can get it if, if you line it up right you can get him to pull the string back and it looks like he's actually firing it which is pretty cool you gotta I don't have time to line it up just right on camera but there that kinda shows it you gotta do it right but it does work so it's nice nice little detail I think makes for some cool poses and he's got two arrows just in case you lose one no no uh, quiver for him because he's already got the swords on his back but I figured I'd throw him in there anyway nice little extra accessory can't go wrong with more accessories and uh, that's pretty much the rundown of the figure it's uh, not not the most complicated figure ever but it, I think it really comes together nicely and the customer is happy and I'm happy with it so what else can you ask for I am uh, I had a lot of fun making this figure so I'm really pleased with how it turned out and I know my customer is so in the end of the day that's all that matters so anyway um, I'll stop rambling on and on about it uh, thanks for watching keep an eye out for more custom figures and more figure reviews and in the meantime keep collecting